Will I go and get them again? To be honest, I don't think so. Hi guys, it's Dominica. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my lips, how I got them done for the first time. I was super stressed, but they turned out fine, okay? A little bit of like the spoiler. They are, they are fine, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. But I just want to show you the entire process afterwards of like how it was healing and my impression of things and if I'm happy or not and all of that stuff. And firstly, I'm gonna take you back in time to my natural lips so that you can have a look yourself how I looked like before. Hey guys, welcome to the past, welcome to 2020, the year we all wish to forget. I want to show you my lips before I go get them done and explain to you why I'm getting them done. Them done. So this is the way how they look like naturally. And the first thing you can see is that they are dry. They are really, really dry. I want to make them a little bit bigger. But another thing is that I think they're a little bit too narrow. I think with my face shape, they should be a little bit more white. When I don't smile, I look very, very mean. So let me show you. And I think it's because those sides are going down a little. Hopefully, Phila is gonna solve all those issues in the next clip. They're already done. Yay! <laughs> Guys, this is insane. <laughs> they are way too big, but it's just the swallowing is starting right now, especially on the upper lip. It was injected more. So <laughs> I really hope it's gonna go down soon because I look ridiculous. So in a clip that you just saw, I was talking kind of funny because the numbing cream was still working, so my lips were numb. And I didn't take you to the doctor's room with me simply because I don't want to watch the videos of myself like with needles in my lips. That's the, something that I don't want to see and also I don't want to stress the doctor out, bringing out the camera and all of it. And there are videos on YouTube of how it goes when you get the filler injected. But for my lips, basically, I asked for the numbing cream, okay? And make sure that you ask for a numbing cream. I used to get nose filler, maybe some of you remember from like my old videos, but I wasn't using numbing cream then. I don't really use it for the nose. And I remember it was quite painful. I mean, the injection, you would definitely feel it, but also you feel like the filler getting spread in your nose and it's not a very comfortable feeling. So I definitely recommend getting it for your lips because lips are way, 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 way more sensitive than your nose. And then when they put the numbing cream, you wait like 10 minutes and uh, I got my injections and I got four on the bottom like here 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 and here then on top I think I got three on each side so three 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 one two three one two three that's what I wanted to say so in total six on the top and four at the bottom and I'm gonna show you in this video like the healing process because I feel like that's super interesting and by the way I got one milliliter of filler I think it's quite important to say and in the next clip you're gonna see me the day after I didn't say that in that clip but my lips were hurting because the numbing cream was obviously not working anymore and the spots where I got injections I mean you got needle injected in your very thin tissue then definitely it was quite painful on those spots and so it's been 24 hours and this is how they look now so I feel like they are still super swallow, but I think less than before. Maybe I'm getting used to them, like I don't know. I mean, they are too big, <laughs> I hope. Obviously it's still gonna come down, but this is how it is after 24 hours. So I think they look better. I think the bottom lip looks like size-wise quite all right right now. It's the upper one, which is more swollen still, as you can see. The skin is like peeling off the top ones <laughs> for sure. And I feel like what's funny is that the color is different which I didn't think about you know that happening when I do it but they're more um, like purple I can definitely feel the bumps here is the big bump and over here this is like a really really big one um, yeah, and you can see like they are quite I don't know swollen you see here I think it's called the um, how is it called in English bruise bruise here it's like a small bruise it's injection spot same here and also like here I guess it's a bruise and here, so I feel like they are getting fine now. I'm getting used to them. I feel like the bottom is completely fine, but with the upper one, there's really a lot of bumps on them. Here, this whole thing you can see is just like one big bump, like this part. You see this here, the second teeth is showing on this side, but not here, like when I talk, because this lip is kind of falling down over here. And then the bottom one, here is the bump. Here, you can see, so they get a kind of bumpy, which is normal for, you know, um, 
filler and uh, my doctor he told me that that could happen so that I can try to like do this myself or I can come to his place and he will do it but I've also read online that it takes like two weeks for filler to set in which is why right now it's like time to you know try to spread it out because it's still like um multiple I feel like they're getting better like they're definitely the size of them the size of them them the size of them smaller so i feel like that's better i mean they still look lip fillery but i think they look a little bit more um natural if you can say natural about the lip filler so i just uploaded a video on my channel let me show you this one and i feel like when i watch it you can definitely see that it's a lip filler and you can see in those clips that my bottom teeth are showing way more than before um, so I feel like it changes a little bit of like my facial stuff this is how they look like in the morning when they are still swollen because I just woke up as you can see that's why I came right away so you can see and then I'm gonna show you a clip how they look like in the evening I don't think you can see it on the camera but the bottom one is definitely smaller than it was in the morning especially like in real life that's how it feels maybe the camera that doesn't really show so here the top one I think it looks quite fine now like I was scared in the beginning but as you can see all the way over here like it looks smooth there's no bump but then when you look at the bottom one it is a little bit mm, weirder because you see here there was an injection and here there was an injection and there's definitely a bruising still over here and here you see it a little bit um, purplish on this side but it's a little bit like bumpy and it's been two weeks so it should come off but it doesn't so I feel like that's how it will stay just the purple go away so here is the last update I'm about to film the video for you guys so this is how they look like and I'm really happy with the results I think it looks really really nice and I think it suits my face quite well now let's go back to the future <laughs> it sounds weird but actually I'm talking to you from the future from now on so see you there and this is how they are right now so this is how they look like with makeup and they are definitely plum and juicy something that i really really wanted but you can definitely see here the spot where the filler starts but overall i am really happy with them but will i go and get them again to be honest i don't think so and that's because of the price so i got my lips done in poland and prices in uh, poland are a bit lower in than in us for example but still i paid 900 Polish swatters, swatters, swatter. I don't even know how to say it in English, but I pay like 900 of like Polish currency for one milliliter and uh, it's supposed to last four to six months. And now, assuming that six months from now I go and get one milliliter again, and that's a little bit of yo yo effect because I go from like a one milliliter plum to all the way when they go down to my natural lips. So then, assuming that I go twice per year, it's like 1800 Polish zlotys. And and I think in a way that you should do it if you want to keep the, you know, that size and the plumpiness, 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 anyway, over time, then you should go every three months to get half of the milliliter. And the prices for that are a little bit like funny because the, you know, it's business. So one milliliter is 900 slotis, but then half milliliter is 700 slotis. So it doesn't really make sense, but you basically pay for the doctor, for his expertise, for using like the office space and stuff. So the pricing is definitely not fair and they want you to get one milliliter. But assuming that every three months I would go and get half milliliter, then it would be 700 times four, that would be 2800 slotes and that's a lot of money that's really a lot of money and you have to maintain it constantly so it's a very very pricey business to go and get it done and to be honest right now on my student budget i cannot really afford it to i mean i could afford it but i'd rather spend that money going somewhere nice on holidays getting nicer makeup you know and another thing is that i got a nose drop as some of you might know i got a nose drop and with my nose i definitely feel that i just look better after the surgery it was still swollen but i looked at myself in the mirror and i was like i really like what i see and i'm really really happy with the result and with the lip filler like i like it but doesn't make me feel super amazing super beautiful like i feel like doing makeup is definitely easier but necessarily like from my face shape i'm not sure if it's like 
amazing effect. I think it looks nice, but it's not like a, you know, making your pants fall down, how we say in Poland. Is that what we say in Poland? Yeah, that your panties will fall down, yes. I think I said everything that I wanted to say, and if you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There's my email in the description below, so if you have any questions about getting lip filler, the procedure, anything, just please feel very welcome to message me about it. And uh, I hope you have an amazing day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.